All right, you know, we get these images of galaxies and all that over the years, the Hubble telescope, others, uh, astronauts, when they're circling the Earth or from the moon, uh, when you go to Mars, et cetera, and send unmanned spacecraft. But this is courtesy of NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope. That thing cost better than $10 billion. It's positioned 1 million miles from Earth, and it's giving us our first glimpse of galaxies formed some 13 billion years ago. That's even before the Big Bang and before cable news. So it's a big deal. Uh, we've got Dr. Michu Kaku joining us right now, the theoretical physicist, author of The God Equation, much more. Genius is he, and kind enough to join us. Doctor, um, these images are stunning. Uh, and, I, I, and I know we're, we're told we're only getting the, the smallest of the smallest percentage in, much more to come. What do you think thus far? Well, I think these pictures are spectacular. They're breathtaking. And they realize, you realize there's a whole universe out there that we have not seen, even with the Hubble Space Telescope. This telescope, the Webb, is 100 times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. Wow. And if you look at these pictures, you see each dot. Each dot represents a galaxy, a galaxy of 100 billion stars. So when you look at the entire picture, you're looking at literally a trillion stars. This is incredible. When you look at the night sky, you have a pinpoint of light. A pinpoint of light in the night sky expanded gives you one of these pictures from the Webb Space Telescope. And of course, to think that we're the only intelligent creatures in the universe, looking at the majesty of these pictures is a little bit presumptuous, I think. Now, obviously, a lot of people try to seize on that possibility, Doctor. They go through a frequency of waves we get now and then. Some call it just interference, but others say, no, it's a sign that something is out there maybe watching us as well. What do you think of that? Well, we have no conclusive evidence of life in outer space. We've looked, we've tried, right. we've really tried to find evidence of intelligence out there. So far, we see no reproducible testable, falsifiable evidence. But when you look at the sheer number of galaxies in these photographs, and each galaxy with 100 billion stars, you can't help but realize that, yeah, they're probably out there. Maybe they're hiding their presence, but yeah, they're out there. Now, the, the images that we get, Doctor, I mean, we're able to ascertain these are billions of light years away. I mean, this is a very dumb question. How do we ascertain that? In other words, how do we say it? this is about 13 billion, and, and which, by the way, would be further than anything we've seen, uh, you know, human-made uh, ever. Uh, so w what is it telling you? Well, we have the, the Hubble theory of the expanding universe. The faster a star moves away from us, the farther it is away. That's Hubble's law. And we can calculate. We can calculate how fast these stars are moving away from us by looking at the Doppler shift of the light. Yellow light becomes reddish as it moves away from you. Yellow light becomes bluish as it moves toward you. And we see a red shift throughout the universe. And there's a formula that then calculates the distance to the galaxy once we know how fast it's moving away from us. And so that's how we know there's an expanding universe out there. So when did it all start? We think it all started about 13.8 billion years ago. Wow. And this telescope can take us to perhaps 13.5 billion years ago, very close to the instant of the creation of the universe itself. This is amazing. It is amazing. But it's humbling as well. Uh, Doctor, very good seeing you again. Thank you very, very much. Sometimes I think it's very healthy for us to look at things like this when we fight and scream at each other over policies and wars and disagreements and spending and taxes. 13 billion years puts a lot in perspective. Sometimes we need that big distance approach. And then we can get back to arguing.